which I didn't benefit from at all because they didn't send me nowhere where the surge was at. So I don't know what happened with that. So anyways, um, everything was going okay. I finished my quest for this particular promotion and I said, okay, I'm going to try to get as many orders in from 11 to 1 because I'm going back out later on to do DoorDash from, from 5 to 8 or 5 to 9 or whatever, depending on how busy or slow it is. <laughs> and um, the last order that they sent me, seven dollar meal that's what pops up on the screen ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. seven dollar meal or whatever so i click it because i'm thinking okay it's gonna be fairly short fairly quick at the same time i was doing postmates um and they were both the pickup pickup places were literally right across the street from each other so i went on ahead and accepted it but once i picked up the food from uber uber eats the gosh darn delivery was freaking eight and a half miles away there's no way I could have seen that so now it's still not telling me how much I'm gonna get from this particular delivery so I'm a little bit frustrated because at this point I already have the food in my car so it's too late for me to reassign it and you guys know if you've heard my videos before whenever I'm talking about me and delivering I'm very 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 into customer service and um, you know preserving the integrity and the quality of the food so for me it was like a no-brainer i know for most people they're like oh hell no nah. immediately i'm 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 gonna reassign this or something's gonna have to happen but at that point like i said i already had the food in my car i just went and dropped off the order for postmates because it was literally two minutes away right up the street and then i went on and did the delivery but eight miles away so let me tell y'all what they gave me ten dollars and fifty cents for most of you guys that may be cool but remember that amount doesn't cover you driving to the restaurant that only covers you driving from the restaurant okay so i mean i guess kind of sort of it's worth it but to me it's really not i would say at eight dollars and no not eight dollars eight miles eight and a half miles i mean i guess i got a dollar a mile but still it's not worth it for me i wasted 20 minutes driving all the way out there and then i'm dead shot and back i'm not about to do no more uber eats right now but i'm just a little bit frustrated about that i don't understand uh the concept of that and that's the only thing that scares me with uber eats is when they when you go on um they don't tell you where you're going they don't tell you where the restaurant is they don't even tell you the name of the restaurant so you don't even have the option to uh reject the order because you have no idea and i'm pretty familiar since i've been doing um deliveries in my area now for for a little while i'm pretty familiar with the restaurants that they work with over here so i mean mcdonald's i don't really trip about but some of these restaurants they have a tendency to take a long time and usually for those i don't i very rarely cherry pick on any of the apps but if it's a restaurant that i know has a, 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 a history of being very, very slow, meaning I'm gonna have to sit there and wait 15 to 20 minutes, I will most likely decline that order because for me, I like to get as many orders in as possible. I don't care if it is 10 small orders. I'd rather do 10 small orders than just get in one or two or three big orders in the amount of time that I'm gonna be out here actually <coughs> delivering food. So that's my spill on Uber Eats. I just, that just really irritated me and I just felt the need to share that with you. On the other subject that I wanted to talk to you guys about when it comes to the pay scale. So there is a service fee. Um, I can't really remember the exact specifics, so I'm just gonna break it down and give you 
give you guys an example and I'm also going to provide a screenshot so that you guys can look at it as well so for one of the orders I did yesterday it was fairly quick I think it was like a three mile trip like one one and a half miles in both directions pickup and delivery for uber eats and the amount that I received for that was I believe three dollars and thirty five cents so when you click on can't really remember and I'm not looking at it that's why I can't wait to get me a camera you guys but when you go to uh, the area where you can see the trips and the transactions um, I think if you go all the way down to the bottom of that page when you hit see trips or see transactions if you go all the way down you can actually click on the transaction that you want to look at just look at that one and then go down to the bottom and it'll say fair information uh, or see fair or something like that so when I clicked on that then you could see there is a breakdown so Uber Eats is is in fact charging you a service fee to deliver food which I'm upset about it but at the same time I could go on and on and say it's a bunch of bull crap and this and that and the third but the reality is for me when you work a regular job you have to pay taxes it's money that you're not going to see it's money that you don't even get to have in your pocket unless you're filing in zip which I think is very stupid um so in that regard to me I just kind of had to like brush it off like whatever had I not went in further to check it out I would have never known honestly it it bothered me I'll say for a split second a split second I'm not saying that it's okay because why are we paying you to work when we're delivering food we're providing a service that you can't provide you are not going to these restaurants and picking up this food we are so why am I paying you to go and do that for you you're just the third party. You're just the person that's connecting the drive, the, the customer essentially with the food, which is helping the, the restaurant because they don't have the necessary tools to get their food to the customer unless it's a pizza place because those are the only places that I know of that deliver food. So anyways, outside of that, yeah, they are charging. So for that order, it was $3.35 that I received and I believed. Uber Eats took a service fee of $1.85. So that means that I actually earned $5 and some change for that order. But I only received $3 of it. Um, so I mean, like I said, you guys can go, you know, everybody has the right to make their own decision to say what they want to do. You may or may not see that Uber Eats is for you. You may be like, heck no, nah, I'm not really feeling the changes. You don't want to pay the service fee. And I 100% understand because like I said, I was, I was irritated by it for a split second. But at the end of the day, even though we're not employees, let me say that we are not employees. And I wish that these, all of these gig economy apps will get that through their minds. Stop trying to implement a uh, employee status platform within a structure that is supposed to accommodate independent contractor status. It doesn't make any sense to me for them to do that. If we are supposed to be working for ourselves, we are doing this for the flexibility. We get to choose. We don't have to show loyalty. We have not signed a contract that says we are obligated to only work for one gig economy platform and not have a full-time job or vice versa. We work for ourselves in this particular structure. So with that being said, I don't really understand the reason why we have to pay them on top of again they're not taking into consideration we're putting wear and tear on our personal vehicles uh we have to pay extra maintenance there's a lot of uh things that come along with that there's regular maintenance there's just gas to get around can't drive on sugar and water so i don't i, I you know that part of it irritates me but at the same time and again considering that we're not employees it's almost like you have to put yourself in an employee mindset with some of these gig economy platforms because there's no other way to go about it. I don't think that you guys should just throw in the towel. I'm certainly not throwing in the towel. I'm gonna utilize these platforms for as long as I can utilize these platforms and continue to uh, flourish because I have goals and if one is not working, I'm gonna use another one or I'll work them together. It doesn't matter. I'm showing no loyalty to no company or or platform that's not showing loyalty to me so I suggest that you guys do the same that's just my my spill on it but I just wanted to let you guys know again stay to the end of the video so that you can catch the screenshot at the end where it shows you the breakdown it will tell you what my earnings is and what the service fee is that they charge so I mean you kind of have to look at it like taxes 
even though you still have to pay taxes at the end of the year, but that's how I looked at it. It's money that you're not gonna see anyway, just like with taxes that come out of your regular paycheck. You don't see it. If you ain't got no dependents, you don't even get it back. So, I mean, you kinda gotta look at it like that. There's no other way to look at it. You can cry and complain, but it's not really gonna change it. Um, if this is not working for you, then I highly suggest that you move on to something else. But like I said, I'm gonna continue to do what I gotta do and use all of them for as long as I can possibly use them. Who knows, it may change in the future, it may not. All of them are trying to adjust um, and uh, blend in because all of them are under scrutiny for several different reasons. So they're trying to give the appearance that they care about us, give the appearance that they wanna do better. Like, you know what I mean? They're really trying to make an effort in certain areas. At the same time, they're trying to compete with one another, which I feel like is kind of clouding their judgments because a lot of the times they're making uh, uh, decisions based on, oh, well, DoorDash is doing this, so we gotta do this, and blah, 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 and oh, Uber Eats is doing this, so maybe if we do this, and oh my God, and Grubhub, this is where they're not doing, so da, 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 and I don't feel like it should be like that. You should find a model that's gonna work for your company, make sure that it's profitable for you, but at the same time, make sure that it's beneficial for everybody that's involved, i.e. the, uh, the drivers, the restaurant, but hey, you know, that's my spill on it. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.